What's up, y'all? It's your boy Mac at MW Fishing. We're getting really close to the open water fishing season. Ice fishing is completely done with now. Um, the best way to get yourself prepared for that pre spawn bite start taking care of your reels, reel maintenance. It's often overlooked. Um, myself has gone, you know, many times without greasing and oiling up my reels, taking q tips to clean them out a little bit. You know, it, it really helps out your performance and, you know, there's just the over, overall feel of these reels and how they perform. So let's go ahead and take a deep dive and um, learn how to take these apart and where to grease them, where to oil them, and just let's get it going. All right, see you guys. All righty, so here I have kind of three different types of styles of how you how you uh, take apart these bait casters? Um, different different companies they have different styles of how you tear these down. Um, so luckily, I do have three different types of ways uh, to show you, just to kind of more relate to whatever you guys are using. Um, the first one, a lot of times companies will put these little switches. Um, I don't know if you can see that really well, but there is an open and a closed switch, and right here. Is in the closed position and you flip that up you'll hear a click then you will be able to take this side plate twist it back and wiggle it right off and that comes right apart right here you got your magnets this is your braking system um, on here this is adjusted by this turn knob um, some some different reels you have to adjust the magnets um, internally but that is a whole different type of video and we will do that in the future but very simple that's the way that you can do with if you have the switch this one has this little pull tab right here you just take your fingernail pull that down and you can twist that that side plate right off sometimes they kind of get a little stuck on there but pull that right off and this is what I'm talking about um, internal magnets they have these little switches right here and um, all of them are engaged um, if I pull them out that'll disengage them so you can do that in different patterns um, but I haven't gotten to that point yet so we'll also do that in a different video as well now for this one this is just very simple right here you got this rod just unscrew this by this little black knob right here unscrew it all the way and it'll come right out you'll feel it you'll have the play in there then you'll be able to take this back plate twist it forward and that'll come right off of there and then just pull that comes right out. So those are three different types of styles of how you can break down these reels. So let's go ahead and do a deep dive on each and different uh, each different one of these reels to kind of show you, you know, the different types. They're mainly fairly similar on the inside, but um, let's go ahead and take a look. Alrighty, so I'm going to go ahead and show you guys on this reel. This is a this is a Bass Pro Pro Qualifier 2. Really nice reels. Um, you can get these at a Bass Pro for like 100 bucks. Um, but I would honestly wait till their spring sale. You can get them for probably half of that. Probably like $60 after tax. Really nice reels. All uh, machined aluminum. Um, they do have a carbon siding on there. But all one piece aluminum. Really nice spool. Really nice gearing in there. Um, so let's go ahead and take this apart. So again, on these ones, this one has a just a pull rod. You just get your fingernail, pull that out, and then, sorry, and slide that forward. And that comes right off. Go ahead and grab your spool. Pull that out. If you have a uh, line on there, you can keep it on there. Just um, tape it on there so it doesn't unravel. 
So take your spool out, sit that to the side. You can sit that right there. And go ahead and take a good look on the inside. Make sure there's not a lot of like debris, dirt. Um, just overall trying to see if it's dirty or not. Um, if it is, the best way is to get Q-tips and use some hot water. Dip it in there. Dab it off a little bit so it's not sopping wet. And then just find the dirty areas and scrub it in there. All the little crevices. And just do a thorough clean. Get a lot of dirt from all the dirty water, you know, picking up uh, cotton wood and all that different type of stuff and vegetation. It gets all clogged up and it eventually will make its way into the gearing. So that will overall affect the wear on your rod or the on your reel. And you will feel that difference if you don't regularly clean it. So... I want to start off with some real oil. And the main place is when you take this apart like this, you want to take a few drops right down into where the, shaft, the spool shaft goes into. You want to take a few drops and go right in there. Nothing crazy, just a few drops. Kind of let it settle in in there. Sit that aside. Another thing is, these are where the magnets right here are rubbing up against. Not rubbing, they're getting very close. But you want to have a clean surface. So make sure to kind of do a cleaning as much as you can of all this giving any kind of like grease and oil that's old and stuck on there and clean that off because we'll put new stuff on there then see that little bearing right here that's a good spot you want to put some oil so do a couple drips right there and once that thing starts turning It'll start working itself into that bearing. Make sure this is cleaned off. Take your Q-tip. Clean off all the old oil and grease. Because it turns kind of uh, grayish black once it gets old. So you want to get that off. Next, on the shaft, you want to do a couple drops on here. Kind of spread it around a little bit on there. Do it on the edge. Right there. A little bit more. Then, go ahead and drop that back into your reel. Let it sit in there. Set that aside. Then, go ahead. Run this in here. Get all that old grease. Clean it off. And drop some oil into the bearing. Then just go ahead and put that back together. Line it up. This one you have to bring it forward. Make sure it's sitting in there. Make sure it clicks back in space. Go ahead and give it a nice spin. Work that oil in there. Another good spot is on the worm shaft. 
and that's what that is right there. It's the uh, the line guide that's running across and spreading your line evenly on your spool. And that's where you're going to want to put some grease. Right here's some real grease. You don't want a lot. Just try to get a little dab on the edge. Find a good opening in there. I'm going to go through the back. And just kind of spread it a little bit as much as you can on that worm shaft. Go ahead and spin your rod or your reel over to the other side. That way you can get the rest of the worm shaft. It don't take too much. You just want to get it on that surface and let it work its way in there. Give it a couple good turns. Work that grease in. Make sure there's not a lot of dirt or dust over here because we're going to eventually put some oil, if you can see in there, right in there on that shaft where the, the line guide goes across. You're going to want to put some oil on there. It's just plastic rubbing on plastic so you don't want it to be oil free. So put a couple dabs in there and then reel it in as usual and that will spread it across evenly. And basically that's about it for you know like a routine oiling. Um, we can take this apart. That's a little bit more in depth. You need a couple tools. I can make a, a different video for that. But Basically, that's as much as you want to do. Um, also, another couple spots, once you take this plate off, um, where your, your button is, there's a couple spaces where it rides in. You can take a couple drops in there. I already had some in there, so I didn't um, put any in there, but that's also another option. Anywhere that plastic is rubbing on plastic or metal on metal, you definitely want to get some lubrication in there so you minimize friction. But um so basically that's about it guys. Hopefully this helped you out. And, um comment if you guys have any questions. If you guys have any certain reels you don't know about, um I could definitely do my research and help you guys out as much as I can. But um yeah, so that's about it. If you guys have any questions, comments, let me know. But we will get back to you in the next video guys. Peace out.